Wow, guys, long time no see. So I'm back with another DIY. I'm deciding to do a take on Cooler Buzz design for this DIY sparkly dress that has a low V in the front. So if you want to see how I made this for Valentine's Day, just keep watching. To start out, I went to my local craft store, Joann's, and I debated for about 45 minutes on two different fabrics. One was silver, one was green. I ended up going with the green because they didn't have enough of the silver fabric, so I went with green. For this DIY, I got four yards of fabric. I also have a tape measure, newspaper, ballpoint needle and thread, pen and paper, pens, patience. So much patience. Once I got back from the craft store, I realized I needed to make a pattern because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, in the DIY, she kind of just, you know, DIY'd it and guess and check, so I did the same. All right, here you can see me creating the pattern out of newspaper. I was too lazy to go, you know, actually pick some up from Joanne, so I just went downstairs and stole my neighbor's newspaper that he never uses. So here I am just kind of slapping them all together with some tape. I forgot to add that to the list. Tape. Anyways, I slapped that all together. You can kind of see it coming together now. After I have cut out a pattern, which you now see on screen, I pinned that to my fabric. Here I did not pin it to the folded edge. These are the two raw edges, not the folded edge. Anyways, so from there, I cut out the two pattern pieces, um, which will be the front of the dress. So how I cut out this pattern, essentially, I just kind of threw my arm out, measured my arm length, measured my body length, and sides and things, and then I just kind of slapped that onto a notebook and then cut it out from there. Honestly, there was no rhyme or reason, and I cut it way too big, so hey. So here you can see me cutting out all the fabric. Chop, chop, chop. Snip, snip, snip. Cut the fabric. The knife goes chop, chop, chop. <sighs> I wish I had a bigger cutting mat. It's so small. Anyways. God, do I just keep cutting forever? Patience. I did mention patience earlier, so mm, patience. So once I finished cutting that out, you'll notice that front notch there. That's where it's going to tie together. So once I finished cutting it out, then I just started draping. <laughs> words I just started draping it on my body and kind of twisting it together to make sure it was gonna look okay and that I hadn't you know chopped it up and made a whole big mistake so I had Tebow help me kind of hold it because I hadn't done the back piece yet accelerating from there this time I actually put the pattern piece on the fold and here you're not gonna cut out that little triangle piece because otherwise you'll have a slit in the back and I mean I guess if you wanted to do a double twist dress you could so from there, I lined up the two center pieces there that I'm pointing out to you very quickly, and I pinned those together so that I could sew them. Make sure you get as close as possible to that little twisty tie, otherwise you will have a hole in your belly, and no one wants a hole in their belly unless, I guess, you're into that. And then I sewed all of that up. Caution, this is important. While trying to sew this together, I realized that the fabric is very temperamental and does not like my sewing machine. So make sure if you buy this kind of fabric that is very thin and sparkly, that you test it beforehand because that's what I did and I tried four different pieces, failed miserably every time, almost broke my sewing machine. But hey, here's the settings I used for my sewing machine. And then on top of that, I loosened my tension, made sure that I had a stabilizer underneath, aka more newspaper. So yay for newspaper today. <laughs> Once I had that done, I pinned the front to the back. Honest to God, this is just, it took so long to pin together. It's a very weird fabric. It likes to slide a lot. So just keep pinning, just keep pinning, just keep pinning, as Dory said. Once that was all pinned together, I looked like a potato and just you know, tried to see if it fit. And for some reason, Tebow filmed in vertical instead of horizontal, so I'm sorry. <laughs> also, why do I look like a grandma, but like also with my slippers? Anyways, I tried it on, realized it was way too big, and I was like, oh dear God. So at this point, I went back to the drawing board. Yes, I'm using clothespins and not safety pins. Uh, I realized I needed to take in some of the fabric, especially if I started sewing, because we all know I'm not going to waste that much time and sew all that big fabric. So here I cut out the two large pieces, and then I started sewing the arm, my underarm, to the bottom of the dress. As you can see here, I was praying to Jesus because, give me patience, Lord, because I don't got this. Um, I was really tired by this point, so... I'm sorry if my face is scaring you. It scared me too. 
So once I was done there, I started to cut the bottom because the bottom was way too long. And then from there, look, I posted a cute little Instagram video. Hmm, follow me on Instagram. Plug, plug, plug. Um, and then from there, I started to hem it. Um, I can see here it's too long. Then I pinned in the sides because the sides were too big. Again, those clothespins, very handy, honestly. Very, very handy. Um, so I pinned in where I needed my waist to get sucked in at because it was too large there. So it kind of made me look a little baggy and that's not a cute look. So then here I am sewing again. More sewing. Here you'll notice that shoulder looks really weird. Um, so I ended up going back in and fixing that up. And then I fixed the bottom. You can still see that newspaper. More sewing. More trying on. Oh man, I was looking to see at every angle just to make sure it wasn't going to be weird. More sewing. More trying on. Awkward posing. Why do I look so manly? Jesus. Oh cute. I almost flashed. Ooh. So then I hemmed the bottom. I powered through that really quickly because I was really tired of sewing by that point. Ooh, enjoy this silky montage of me walking by acting like I'm a model, which I am not. Because I'm only 5'3 and I kind of look like a potato. Here are the final shots of the dress. Sorry, it was so flipping cold. There was no way I was about to take that jacket off, man. It was like negative 10 degrees, like not trying to die here. 